restaurant with my husband, Ben. I take you on a journey of Oriental cookery, Nancy style. Today, I prove to you, you can get lots of special ingredients in ordinary supermarket. Oyster sauce, aubergine, water chestnut. Look at lemongrass and get it from ordinary supermarket. Look. Look at that ginger, red onions, chili hot sauce. the coconut milk, coconut cream and coconut sachet. Dry mushrooms. All from the supermarket. Okay, let's go and see my darling Ben in the kitchen. Welcome to Nancy's boat trip. Across the ocean. My boat trip is pineapple soup. I have this beautiful pineapple. First thing, you to pull one of this. If it is a bit loose, you know that it's right. Yes. Yes, this is right. Now I'm going to cut my pineapple. I'm going to break it. Get rid of this. Even this can smell lovely. And all I want it's only a quarter of this pineapple. Look at this beautiful pineapple. Just look at how lucky we are to get delicious pineapple. Some people think it might be a bit strange to have pineapple in soup. It's normal for us to have pineapple with coconut, pineapple with soup and pineapple with stir-fry so or pineapple sweet and sour so it's normal it's very normal for us I've cut my pineapple I'm going to pound my ingredients well come on let's keep working now yes, onions yes yeah, nice. thank you these onions are red onions and it gives such a lovely taste on the soup. There's half an onion here. And you can use shallot as well. If you use shallot, use about 10. If you don't have a pounder, please use liquidizer. And don't keep talking while you liquidize it till the cows come home. Grrr. Just make a few times moving keep moving slowly and don't make it too fine and the soup will taste nice can i have chili. the chili yes thank you you know chili this little chili is very very hot so you only need one of this it's plenty so if you don't like very hot food put less chili but make sure when you use it like me break it into pieces don't touch your eyes. You'll be very sorry. I'll tell you this story. Ben was very, very dreamy. And we have to cook lots and lots of chilies. And what he does? He's so dreaming, he touched his eyes. And what did he say? Oh, ho, 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 ho. my eyes, my eyes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All day he's been moaning. I've been telling him on and on and on. Don't. 
your eyes. Okay. Turmeric. This is fresh turmeric. It grow under the ground. When you buy the bottle ones, they are concentrated. So it's very strong. Must not put too much on the powder one, but you can use extra for the root. And you keep pounding. I can guarantee you, you can get fresh turmeric from an Asian big supermarket. That's it. This is all ready now. I'm just going to use these spices to boil in the water for good half an hour before we put other ingredients. See you later. For my pineapple soup, I have this beautiful halibut. If you can't get any halibut, any white fish you can get. Ask a lovely fishmonger to fillet it for you. I buy this fish but I'm going to use other recipe of this fish as well. That's why I buy enough. <sighs> this been boiled half an hour with all my ground spice and my lovely piece of lemongrass and quarter of pineapples. One litre water is in it, boiling beautifully. Look, I'm going to put a little small tiny piece of this prawn paste, Ben. Let me have chopsticks. Not this big piece, only a tiny bit, just a little slither, they call it. And it got a very distinct smell and a very strong smell. It's literally a seasoning. This is a soup that you got to put it in, you cannot miss it. Beautiful taste from this soup to have that little thing there. I'm going to put some sugar in it and some salt and some fish sauce. One teaspoon of sugar, two teaspoon of sugar. Are you feeling seasick yet? Because I'm going to put some salt in my soup. No, no. No. No, no, no. Nah, you no. sure? I'm quite all right. The You're quite all right I'm for the while right the because yes. you were telling me you feeling yeah. a bit well, unsettled. Well, sick, but you know it's not too bad. Now. Not too bad. Yes, I'm waiting for the soup. You're waiting for the soup. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Half a teaspoon of rock salt and a dash of fish sauce. Just a dash. Just a little bit, okay? That's it. Are you enjoying your boat trip? Yes, I am. You are? Yes. Oh, that it's means that, yes. that means we've got a second chance to go again. Anytime. Anytime? Any place? Not anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Not anywhere. Wow. Okay, we can put the fish in now. The fish is about two ounces, two to three ounces each person. That should be plenty. You've got four of them. So, you put four pieces in. We leave this in case they want second helping. That's why I tell you, you always must have a little bit more. Okay, you cover it for one minute. Get your bowl ready. And get your ladle ready. Yes. That's it, that's ready to serve. This is a beautiful piece here. Here. And then, a few pineapple here, a few pineapple there. You must not serve the lemongrass on the fish because the lemongrass is just a taste to get the strong taste in the soup. All you do is just serve a few pineapple. This is my pineapple soup with halibut and fresh pineapple. Enjoy it. Look at this. It's a typical Indonesian dish. And it's also a rich man dish. Oh, just melts. Give you 
business. It melts in your mouth. It melts in your mouth. Another successful guest. <laughs> just got that bit of chilli, just to give it a bit of bite to the back. It was just lovely. <laughs> <laughs> for my main meal, we got to make banana boat parcel for our boat trip. This is all my beautiful ingredient that I'm going to pound later. My shallot, my galanga. My lemongrass, my candle nuts, my beautiful chili, <laughs> my basil leaves, the aroma of it, and my beautiful fresh fish. First thing we need for our trip is our banana boat. This banana skin has been tossed in hot water because it makes it more flexible. I'm going to put the two skin together into half. Then I fold both corners, side or corners back and make it all equal into another long strip. Then I hold one corner, fold it in and attach on the other side of the corner. And you use a satay stick Ben, don't forget my scissors. And you cut an angle. Then you turn it over and push it the other side. This is one side. And push the other way. In and then. Open it up this way, in, push it right in, so that the juice of the filling do not drip. That is my banana boat. Now I make my boat. I'm going to pound my ingredients. Come on, Ben. Let's show them. Lemon grass. Thank you. There's two stalks of lemongrass. Can I have my chilli and shallot? Both, yeah. Yes, thank you. I got my chilli and shallot here. I'm going to put all my shallot in first and pound it. Pound it one by one. Okay, I'm going to put my chilli in now. That's it. I have my galanga now. This is galanga and you've got to cut it into small slices so that you can put them all in and it's easier to easier to pound. Galanga is a family of, of the root ginger and if you use galanga you use it much much less than lemongrass. If the portion of lemongrass is 4 ounces, you'll need a lot 1 ounce of galanga. All these ingredients that what I'm using now, you can get it from a big oriental supermarket. Candle nuts, thank you. These are my lovely, lovely candle nuts to make the richness in this recipe. This makes the food so rich. And next, I'm going to put my basil leaves in now. Wonderful fresh basil leaves is arrived from Thailand. They are called Thai basils and they smell different from the English basil. It might look a bit limpy, but it's not really. It's so fresh and you can get it from an oriental supermarket. And I'm going to put all these four stock of basil leaves straight into my pounder. 
I am so happy trying to cook you something really nice and make me so happy. I can't say anymore. I know I'm fat and I, I, I'm, I'm beautiful. I think I'm beautiful because all the herbs make me so beautiful. That's it. It's already now. I'm going to mix it with my fish. I have 500 grams of halibut for my banana boat parcel. One flat teaspoon of turmeric. Two eggs. One. Two eggs. Wash my hands and I'll be back. One teaspoon of sugar. These are sea salt. Just crush it and sprinkle it. One good teaspoon of it. This coconut milk is wonderful. You can get it from any oriental supermarket or any large supermarket. They all have it. And I'm going to pour half a tin in it. And a half teaspoon of corn flour. Now I'm going to steam my banana boat parcel. Whoops, yes, lovely and hot. We take our fishy mixture and put it in the boat. It's lovely. Put a bit more gravy, that's it. One boat in, and another boat. You must always lay your boat across your palm. Ah, the boat in. Look at that. Put some gravy in. Another boat. Yes, this boat is in. I'm going to steam it for 10 minutes in high fire. Look, my banana boat parcel is ready. Let me put the flat. Slow boat in the sunshine. Stay on the deep sea. Ho, ho, ho. I can't sing the next verse, but that will do. That's it. My banana boat parcel makes you feel that you are in the big boat and slow boat to China. <laughs> and it goes like that. It's delicious. Who cooked it? Oh, that crazy woman. But doesn't matter. It's delicious. With my banana boat, I'm going to cook you a gluten vegetable curry. is come in this tin and it's made from the wheat flour that is washed and washed and washed and I'm going to prepare my vegetables now with my gluten curry I'm going to slice some carrots and some lovely fresh cabbage I'm going to cut my baby aubergines. Now I've chopped my vegetables, I'm going to cook my curry. One tablespoon of oil. As one full onion there. Fry and fry until it smells lovely. Keep the heat hot because there's a lot of juice in it when you pound it. It's lovely. Ooh! Aroma, aroma. Yeah, curry powder. Thank you. There's a two teaspoon of curry powder. And this hot curry powder I have here. Oh, lovely. That's it. And my vegetables. 
put in my vegetables and fried it and get my throw the um, aubergine water away yes thank you just pour it out that's it thank you you realize i have water soaked in my aubergine so it doesn't discolor put my aubergine my baby aubergine tender and lovely and you fry slowly oh lovely and now we're going to put our gluten in yes lovely and all the juice all inside oh lovely can you smell it just beautiful sugar there's already sugar in your gluten i just make sure that i just give a, a little bit just like a pinch on it sugar and salt just a little bit of salt not too much because this, there's already salt in the gluten so you can always put less salt and add salt later then put too much salt and you get yourself into trouble just a cup of water wow this man is definitely a seasick look at him he expect me to put so much water into there he must be seasick oh my goodness are you seasick i might be oh i might be all right then i'm going to add water in here now one cup of water is plenty just one cup of water yes that's plenty now i'm going to cover it up and let it cook for 10 minutes my gluten curry is ready look at that look at that oh this smells lovely delicious oh my god look at this you so clever but you got a crap jacket <laughs> Enjoy your peaceful night. Thank you. Yes, she's just original, one of the best. You won't come across another Nancy ever. Nancy, well, she, she's certified, but we love her. She's got crap tasting clothes, and I love my jacket. Wouldn't surprise me if they came and took away in a jacket one evening. <laughs>